Hi everyone, welcome back to Propedia. This channel is created to share in-depth research for projects all across Singapore. Today, I'll be using some data points from TwinView's two-bedroom unit type to show you how to leverage on developers' pricing strategy to maximize your profit margin. I will also share my recommendation on whether or not TwinView's two-bedroom remains investment-worthy. But before I begin, here's an overview of Twin View. This development is one of the newly TOP projects in the established West Coast area. It features a pair of 36 stories tower on top of an elevated terrain overlooking the Pandan Reservoir. Twin View comprises of 520 residential units, a childcare centre, and two commercial units. The two bedroom itself made up more than one third of Twin View's unit mix. In terms of layout, there are two types. One comes with a study area and the other without. If you have noticed here, Twinview does not have any two-bed, one-bath unit type. All the two-bedroom here comes with two-bath room. If budget is not a concern, my most preferred layout would be the two-plus study. However, on the first day of launch, the price gap between a two-plus study and the three-bedroom is only 160000 Given this premium, which unit type will you opt for in order to maximize your profit margin? Well, in the resale market, we could see that the 2 plus study unit type as well as the other 2 bedroom unit type did outperform the 3 bedroom compact and clocked the highest profit. But why? In one of my Ask Joy episodes, I have shared that developers tend to price smaller units at higher PSF and bigger units at lower PSF. But in the case of Twin View, its smallest unit, the two bedroom, is priced at a lower PSF than its three bedroom, which is the bigger unit. Therefore, it makes more sense to buy the two bedroom instead of the three bedroom on launch day. In the same video, I have also shared that in many mass market developments, low floor units tend to make more money than high floor units, mainly due to a lower entry price. But in the case of Twin View, units on the higher story have made more profit and clocked higher ROI. So, what caused this outcome? Well, when Twin View first launched for sale, the price difference per level for the two bedroom is only 5,000, which is very marginal. In the resale market, higher stories are able to command a slight premium because buyers are more willing to pay for it. Another example of such pricing can be seen in the principal garden. At the time of sale, higher level was able to command a higher profit margin due to the marginal differences in entry price. For intending buyers of Twinview's two-bedroom, I do think that this product is still investment-worthy although the first owner have already enjoyed the first mover advantage. You can consider owning this property using the part rental and part appreciation strategy. Currently, it will cost about 1.2 million to own a two-bedroom in Twinview. And for this, you can fetch a rental of approximately 3,600 per month. That's a 3.6% rental yield, which is considered very high in Singapore's context. Based on the 1.5% interest rate, the money mortgage works out to be $3,106. Taking the money rental, we will deduct the interest payable, maintenance fee, and property tax and that will work out to be $1,815 of savings per month. If we multiply this money savings by 60, you will get a total of 108,000 savings in 5 years' time. Assuming the property appreciates by 100,000, your total savings will be 208,000. Using these savings and you combine it with the 25% down payment which you have put into Twinview when you first purchase it at 1.2 million, you will be able to upgrade to 1.75 million property when you dispose Twinview in 5 years time. This is why property is always regarded as a form of forced savings. For sellers who are looking to dispose your two-bedroom right now, you may be experiencing a slower sale 
and a slight drop in PSF because Whistler Grant has just TOP and it will bring in a total supply of 270 units of two bedroom. It has a price and a layout that is very comparable to Twinview. And with this, we have come to the end of my two bedroom analysis on Twinview. I hope you have some precious takeaway. Do not hesitate to contact me if you need any professional advice. Till then, I will see you in the next episode.